Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, May the 19th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 19, the third way of service, work. Jesus took on himself the form of a servant. He came not to be served, but to serve. He went about doing good, healing the sick, preaching good news to the poor, and binding up the brokenhearted. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience, and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts, and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O Lord, do not forsake me, till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? You have shown me great troubles and adversities, but you will store up my life, that you will restore my life, and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more, You enfold and comfort me. 
Therefore I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Holy God, be our strength and our salvation, that we may never be ashamed to praise you for your mighty acts. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ According to Matthew Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow was thrown into the oven, Will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat? Or, What will we drink? Or, What will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for all your precious children, at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Governor General, the Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. That the Lord, the Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for children and young people. We pray today for those children at home, in daycares, our children in elementary schools, in junior high schools, our young people in our high schools, our community college, and our university. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. We pray, for, we pray today for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, those suffering from COVID-19, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. Remembering this day those among us who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the church. We remember the Anglican communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our church leaders, for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the third order this morning, we pray for the African province. And there's been a bit of a mix-up on our prayer list, so we would actually be repeating the same people from yesterday. So we won't do that. God, we give you thanks for the third order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. Give us grace to love one another and walk in the way of his commandments, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.